Hi guys, I'm back with another video today. So my th today's movie review is is a movie called Out of Liberty. Now let me tell you, I was uh, totally expecting something different from this movie, but I was wrong. Um, so at first when I took a look at it, I thought it was going to be American Revolutionary War movie, but it wasn't. It was totally something different, but either way, that doesn't matter. It was not American Revolutionary War movie. I thought it was, but it wasn't, so huh, that's my bad. I was wrong, but, um... This was a really good movie. Um, I actually love this movie. I might buy this on DVD. I don't know. But um, it, it was... The, the, the beginning was good. The ending was good. And the whole movie was good. The story was good all together. Um, you know, like... There's there's some some textualizations that I'm going to read a little bit later. Not too many. Um, basically, this movie is all about uh, the 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 founder of Mo, um, uh, Mormonism, um, Joseph Smith. Uh, and basically, it the movie is about what. He he went through from eight November, eighteen thirty eight eighteen thirty eight to April, eighteen thirty nine. Basically, it shows you what happened to him and his uh, Mormon Mormon followers and Mormon saints and whatever. So basically, that's what the movie is about. Um. So here's some textualizations. Before the movie started. It's in November 1838. Under the threat of the extermination. Joseph Smith and other religious readers. Surrendered to the Missouri Milta. In December they are jailed in Liberty, Missouri. Where they seek a fair hearing. They were going to try to get a fair trial. To get out of jail. Because... The whole stay in Missouri thought they were doing treason. And you find this out during the mo movie. And they, these ain't really spoilers. These are before the movie happened. It's just a little insight to the movie and what you're going to watch. So it's it's not really a spoiler. Um, I really recommend you guys to go watch this movie. It's a pretty good movie. Now you think, oh, it's... Oh, it's all about religious stuff. No, no, it's not. It's not about religious stuff. It has a couple of religious sayings in it, but the movie's not about religion, and it's not really about Mormonism. It's really about um, Joseph Smith and what happens to him and his religious leaders during the movie. So, Sam Terry... Uh, Sam Turi, a local veteran, is tasked with keeping watch over the prisoners, which are the religious leaders of Mormonism. Um, and this is now, uh, if you want to find out what happens to them during the movie, you actually got to physically watch the movie. And I really recommend this movie because it's really good. And I hope you guys watch it. I'm not forcing you to, but I feel like if you watched it, you like it just like me. I didn't know what it was going to be. Like I said, I thought it was going to be American Revolutionary War movie of, uh, when I first looked at it, but I was wrong. So, you know, you just have to watch it. Okay, so this is uh, not a spoiler. This is This talks about real life. This was a real life event. So this is a true story. I forgot to mention it, that that this is a real life event and this actually happened to them, these religious leaders. So um, Samuel Turi became a city recorder and justice of the peace of Liberty, Missouri. Um, that's the main. He's the main person. He's the main character in the movie. 
with Joseph. Yeah, she's the main character of the movie, and also Joseph Smith and the religious leaders are the main characters in the movie. And the place, the city of liberty, is where the thing takes place. If you're gonna watch the movie. He died in 1859 as esteemed citizen of liberty. So Samuel Turley died in 1859. Like I said, this is a true story. This is pretty much real life. And what happened to them in the movie actually happened in real life. Uh, the church leaders left Liberty Jail on April 6, 1839. You find out they're there in the movie. Um... They arrived at the Mississippi River after 150 days, 155 days. That's approximately five months in captivity at Liberty Jail. So they were in there about five months. Um, and Samuel Terry, uh, he found out, Joseph Smith and him find out the, the right, the white right ray to go about it. So, uh, um. I'm not going to tell you the spoiler, but that's what happens. The spoiler, I'm not going to tell you the spoiler. You, you're going to have to go watch the movie to find out what happens. Um, and it's, 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 it's called, of what they refer it to, it's the, the, the escape, quote, the escape. So that gives you a hint of what happens, the escape. You'll find out right at the end of the movie, which the ending I loved. It was a good ending. Not no stupid cliffhanger like other things. Man, if if this movie ended in a cliffhanger, which it didn't, I would be so pissed off, but it didn't. So uh four years after the escape, which is kind of this is a kind of a spoiler, but if you watch the movie, you'll find that out. Four years after the escape, John Brassfield, which is a religious leader, a friend of Joseph Smith, and one of his followers, visit Joseph Smith in Nuvu, Illinois, which Joseph Smith was the mayor of Nuvu. Illinois at the time when John Brassfield visit him. Um, he was paid the he was paid the promise amount for his horse Medley. He had a horse that he gave to Joseph Smith. Uh, and after the movie is over, it says the movie was made to someone named Lin Linda. I I don't know who this is. I think this movie was requested by by uh, the the creators, producers, the directors, and the people who made this movie by a person before they died. That's what I could expect. It may have been um, asked by someone who actually lived in Liberty before they died to tell the story of Joseph Smith. Not all mom moment stuff has to do with Western America, like uh, Utah, uh, Utah, Colorado, uh, all those places. Before it was in the Eastern United States, like Illinois, Missouri, um, New York, all those places. Before they finally went Western, but Western, but yeah, that's it. So. Basically, this is basically this whole movie was about what happened to Joseph Smith and his followers. Um, you could figure out some. You can those textualizations were to tell you what's going to happen in the movie, and then you have to actually watch the movie to see what happens to them. Um, Wikipedia didn't tell me of how great. People like this movie or Rotten Tomatoes didn't say anything. Um, I read an article that they said this movie was very um, extremely accurate, accurate to what happened in real life to Joseph Smith and his religious followers in Liberty, Missouri. Um, 
So, and Liberty Jail is an actually real place. Um, and and please please po please subscribe and comment if you want me to make a video about more about Liberty Jail and Joseph Smith. Please post in the comments if you want to see me talk about more of Joseph Smith and Liberty Jail. Uh, I found out a lot of stuff. I found a lot, a lot about, I found a lot about this stuff in the movie that I didn't even know. So, it's a good learning experience. Um, like I say, you learn new stuff every day. I learned a lot from this movie. It's a real movie. It's real life, and it was definitely um, actually happened, and it's a true story. So, you know. Um, um, yeah, so, I felt like this was a really good movie, even though I didn't know anything about this before I watched it, but you learn new stuff, um, yeah, um, I'm back on my normal schedule like I did, like I, like I did, um, a movie review earlier yesterday because it was Friday and my wrestling Today it's going to be later like I usually do. I'm sorry, I'm not very good with my uploading schedule. So if this video comes out late, my bad. If you don't want to watch it late, you don't have to. You can watch it tomorrow or whenever you want. But I feel like if people don't start watching these movie reviews, um, I'm going to have to cancel them, which I don't want to. Even if don't people don't watch them, I'm not going to cancel this because I've been doing it for a while and I think it's working. If you don't like it, fuck you. Uh, I, even though if you don't like it, fuck you. Um, I'm just going to keep making more movie reviews. Like, at least it was something different. I usually go after horror movies, but... The last two days had something to do about history. I like history stuff as well. So, you know. Um, sorry for dragging this video on too long. Like I said, I like this movie, Out of Liberty. It's a really good movie. I recommend you guys watch it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.